Hello friends, it is I, Pliny the Elder, welcoming you to the first edition of A Baker's Dozen. Now there's a few things I want to you know, get out of the way right off the bat. I already said it, my name is Pliny the Elder, I'm kind of the most important person here. This is my house. Wait, what, what are you talking about? This is my house, and stop calling yourself Pliny the Elder. Hi, my name is Mil T. On Roberts, and a lot of people just combine it and call me Milton Roberts. Um, my life has kind of been a joke. Um, I had made fun of a lot for my name. Um, I made friends with this kid William in first grade, and now he's calling himself Pliny the Elder and uh, crashes at my house every day. I've been conformed to the cat's home in my own home. And, um, I mean, you might ask, why do I put up with it? Why, why do I put up with it? Why do I keep living this way? I, I don't even know. I, I don't even have the heart to tell Pliny the Elder that Pliny the Younger was actually the one that you should be trying to, you know, imitate or name yourself out of. He constantly invites people to my home, and I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of through that depressing stage in my life that's doomed to last forever. Okay, look, Milton. I don't think you fully understand that, you know, I live here now, so this should be my house. And you don't really seem to truly appreciate the magnitude the name Pliny the Elder contains. Like, I, I think I, I just am having a problem with that. Alright, first of all, you're right. I don't understand the meaning of Pliny the Elder. And second of all, I don't think you understand what homeowners rights, homeowners insurance, all of that is. I am so sick of you just freeloading off of my house all the time. When are you going to leave? Well, wait, why would I leave? I just invited Sophocles Jones are here. Are you kidding me? You invited another person over? Uh, not just Sophocles Jones. What's up? I'm Sophocles Jones. I'm 45. <laughs> just kidding. I, my friend Pliny, he invited me over to his house. He's rented it out to this dork named Milton that we make fun of in school. <laughs> So you're probably wondering who I am, and I already said that my name is Pliny the Elder, but that only scratches the surface of who I am. You see, I am very interested in Greek. You're probably wondering why my name's Sophocles? Well, I can't really tell you that right now. Let's see how this goes. That must be Sophocles Jones! Sup, Sophocles? Yo, Pliny, what's up? Buzz me, Brosif. Why is my door unlocked? And look, I don't care what, who you are, what your name is, get out of my house, Sophocles, or whatever you are. Yo, you Bohemian Rhapsodies would not believe what happened to me on the way here. Don't call me a Bohemian Rhapsody, and what happened to you on the way here? Chill out, homie, I'm just trying to tell you a story. Alright, let's hear it. Yo, I want to hear your story, Sophocles. Alright, Miltonius, are you a fan of Frederick the Great? Y yes You're not gonna believe it, dude. So I saw Frederick the Great wearing a Juventus jersey, Cristiano Ronaldo 7 and everything, riding a goat. On the way here. Okay, that's, that's great. Um, do you have anything else to say before I tell you to leave my house. Nah, that's gonna be it, homie. Get out of my house. Yo, you can't tell Sophocles Jones to leave our house. He's a fellow intellectual. Yeah, Brosif, I'm an intellectual. Well, first of all, the cat came and took its spot, so now I have to move again in my own home. But yeah, this kid's not an intellectual. I can't tell if he's trying to be a train conductor or wants to go on vacation. Alright, this Mildingus guy, he is totally not as relaxed, R-E-L-A-C-K-S-E-D, as no, Mil- Stop doing interviews on my recliner! As Pliny and I. This can't be happening. Look, Sophocles, you have to leave. Look, bro, you might want me to leave, but I should probably tell you what happened on my do on your doorstep. What happened on my doorstep? What happened on my doorstep? Please tell me that something didn't happen to my doorstep. Dude, I'm telling you, there was like mustard gas and there was like mustard seed and it was all over the place. Is it gone now? 
I don't know, bro. I haven't checked. Dude, Dolphin told me that it all went away. I mean, I've been looking for mustard seeds for the past 17 decades. You gotta help me out here. I don't know, bro. We can go check right now. It's probably still there. Brotendo, that's a good idea. Buzz me, Brotendo. Yo, so I guess you have to like open the door and then leave and then close the door if you want to check, right? Yeah, we gotta close the door so it doesn't get in the house. Dude, buzz me, bro, Tendo. Alright, let's go, let's do it. Let's go! Yeah, next thing you're gonna tell me there's ketchup on my front. Thank goodness that's over. Two hours later. Yo! Yo, that was wicked! Yo, look at what we found on your porch, dude! Yo, Milton, you never believe it. We didn't find any mustard stuff, but we found ketchup on your front porch. Dude, we dragged most of it, but we saved the swing for you. <laughs> yeah, who would have guessed? How did you get in my house? I locked all the doors, concealed all the windows. Not only how did you get in my house, how did you get upstairs? Yo, you know, dude. when you buzz the Brotendo, things just happen. Buzz me, bro, Tendo. Well, I guess this is what this show will be about. Just me in my house and all these people who name themselves after ancient Greek people just getting in. Just, just getting in no matter what. Help me. If you like this, stay tuned. But help me. People just kind of blend it and call it. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you don't. should be sorry. Yep. Right. They live in my house. This kid William, I made friends with him. He's now calling himself Plenty the Elder, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I look at you? <laughs> oh, I have the best speech. Art. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was I so great. Think of what else <laughs> Keep going. We have to be reading my book. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless. 